Now this is an electrohydraulic valve. Yeah, you have the reason it's described as an electrohydraulic valve is you have hydraulic controls of which need to be manipulated, but you have an electromagnetic coil here. So you apply electric electrical current, it'll actually move a spool within here, which moves a spool there and directs oil down to the desired functions in the hydraulic circuit when this is moved. Okay, first question concerning this is if the power provided to the activation coil is canceled, the valve will close. That is correct. You, you have this spring right here. If you shut the power off to this, then it's going to shut the uh, hydraulic oil which comes through that orifice down here it's going to shut it down and then that spring is going to push this valve in the upper position closing the passageway off. The next question in the instance of <clears throat> directory spool sticking open the pilot spool will remain open if you have your directory spool, if it sticks open, which is, this is directory spool. If it opens up, it's going to open up a tiny passageway, which is orifice through here. And then it's going to go through a secondary orifice over here. And it's going to push against that spring and it's going to open the passageway. So if that, directory spool should stick then yes that valve is going to continue to send oil to whatever function the next question inspecting this valve the pilot pressure and directory supply ports are the same now if you look as far as this you can see pilot supply oil and there's your supply oil to that. Actually, they're independent. That's the supply oil to move that. And then you've got your control oil down here. So they are independent. If the directory spool return spring should weaken, the directed function react will change that's true because if you have a weaker spring it's going to take less force to push that and for whatever desired function to be open so that spring that's kind of critical if it were to break such as i believe this one is broken then that is it's going to require practically no hydraulic force coming through the orifice to move that spool into the functional position as to where usually you know, it would require much higher pressure coming in to unseat it and push against that spring, therefore opening the passageways. The last question on this, if the pilot seat is eroded by hydraulic fluid, this thus causing leakage of the control function to a directory spool, it'll cause slight engagement of directed function. If you do have slight leakage, okay, there again, if you're going to have leakage coming into here, passing through that orifice, it is going to partially move this control spool. So yes, it will, it can partially or fully engage whatever function that this controls. So yes, and that is all for this component.